Hello everyone, welcome to STEC. My name is Sento. In this video, we are going to see the charging speed of S22 Ultra using a 15 watt uh, charging brick compared to the 25 watt charging brick. Of course, the 25 watt is going to charge uh, very quickly, but we are going to see how much different it is so that it will be helpful to uh, to make addition for you to whether to buy a 25 watt or not because most of you probably have this 15 watt charger already at home uh, if you have a old uh, uh, phone or a tablet uh, you probably have this 15 watt charger uh, already in my case as you can see here it says uh, adaptive fast charging although this brick is only like max output is 15 watt as you can see here yeah and this one has a USB uh, port. So the cable that came with this is, is USB uh, to the USB-C uh, cable, right? And this particular specific charging brick, uh, I got it from the Samsung Tab S7 Plus tablet last year, okay? So if you have any old, old charger, just check how much um, old uh, uh, watts is max output based on this numbers here. So it's volts, volts multiplied by amps is the max output, right? So now that's the charging brick, 15 watt charging brick that I'm going to use for this testing. And then for the 25 watt, I did buy this separately. It did not even come with a cable, but this one says, as you can see here, um, as you can see here, super, uh, I don't know whether you can see here clearly, but it says super fast uh, uh, charging. Right? And then if I turn around and here is the uh, max output and this adapter is also capable of PPS, which is programmable power supply that uh, that can work with Samsung devices. Right. So I will show the model of this particular charging charger in a bit. But this one did not come with a came with a cable. So I just use my uh, old phones uh, cable, which is a white cable here during the comparison video, you, you will see it. Um, for charging this using this particular brick, right? So you can see now, let's just go ahead and look at this uh, package as well. So this is the 25 watt charger here. And you can see this one says that um, it is capable of doing um, uh, PPS and it's compare like 2.5 2.5 X more power than the standard um, standard charging brick right and it also says uh, that it, it it is compatible with usb c to usb c so this one is uh, usb c port to usb c port cable so you need a specific cable which can work with uh, this particular charger okay now before we go into the charging comparison video i just wanted to show one setting that i turned on before uh, uh, doing this comparison so you can see here go into the battery and device care go to the uh, battery and then go all the way down and go to this uh, more battery setting so i turned on both the fast charging and also super fast charging uh, setting before the comparison because this particular brick will do a fast charge and then this particular brick will do super fast charge, right? So I want to take advantage and compare it uh, at max level with both of these charging brick, okay? Uh, so this is what I wanted to show before we go on comparison video. Let's look at the comparison now. Okay, another information I want to show before we go on comparison video is I will just plug these uh, plug the 15 watt charger and then the 25 watt charger you will see that the screen would display in the bottom that it is fast charging so for example with the 15 watt charger here you can see here it says fast charging yeah so now let's put this down and then we will uh, check the white one which is the connected to the 25 watt charging brick here and that should say yeah so you can see here it says super fast charging right and for the for the super fast charging it says 
33 minutes until full and then for the uh, 15 watt charger it says let's see the estimate says 54 minutes until full so you can see right away you can get some difference but let's go into the charging comparison video so you can see um, every five minutes how much is the difference so it's it will give a good idea uh, um, how much is going to charge with each brick at five minutes mark 10 minutes mark 20 minutes 30 minutes so that you will get an idea um, with how long how much it will charge in like a 30 minutes uh, top up right with the each uh, charging brick so let's get to the comparison video now okay i started off both the phones uh, at zero percent charge i just checked uh, both the phones to make sure it's at zero percent and then i connected both the uh, charges and started the timer at the same time and we are going to stop at the first five minutes mark which is coming up um, uh, for sure we know that 25 watt is going to be pull ahead but as you can see here at the 5 minutes mark uh, the 15 watt is at the 5% and 25 watt is at 8% uh, and the next stop is going to be at uh, 10 minutes mark that we are going to check again uh, but in the meantime I wanted to ask you guys a question like what do you guys think about uh, these uh, companies not including the charges with the phones you know uh, now at the 10 minute mark we are approaching and you can see here at 10 minutes mark 15 watt is at 10 percent charge and 25 watt is at 19 percent charge so that's like almost uh, double uh, now coming back to that question again so what do you guys think about the companies not including the charger um, especially you know the phone ch phone prices are almost a thousand dollars considering right now we are at the 15 minutes mark and i'm checking again here for the 15 watt it's at the 15 percent uh, charge and the 25 watt is at the 30 percent charge mark and uh, coming back to our question again like uh, uh, when apple started this trend last year right i knew that the other other companies are going to follow uh, now i worry if this could happen with other electronics like uh, laptops you know so what do you guys think about that now we are at 20 minute 20 minutes mark uh, 15 watt has charged 21 percent and 25 watt has, has charged 40 percent already and uh, let's see now at the uh, next stop at, at the 25 minutes mark so which is generally a, a quick top up time right generally we connect our mobile for 20 or 25 minutes to for a quick top up so let's see how quickly uh, what does the 15 and 25 watts does so at, the, at 25 minutes mark uh, 15 watt has a 25 percent and 25 minutes mark 25 watt is at the 50 percent and coming back to our charger question again so do you think this is purely to reduce the extra cost for this electronics manufacturer you know like apple and Sam samsung not to include the charges now at the 30 minutes mark we are approaching 15 watt is at um, 30 percent and 25 watt is at 61 percent so by you know not including the charger companies claim they are helping the environment but in that case they should um have reduced the phone's price also right like why didn't they do that so i purely think this is just to make uh, extra money uh, it way to make extra money anyway so we are at uh, 35 minutes mark and the 15 watt has charged 35 percent and 25 watt has charged 70 percent um, and also you know i think apple saw the rising cost of the charger so if they need to include a high speed charger which their phones are capable of now charging and uh, simply decided to you know probably offset the cost to the customer by not including any charges at all now we are at the 40 minutes mark um, 15 watt has charged 40 percent and 25 watt has charged 79 percent you know um, because if you think about it with this charge is not being included uh, charging a, a iphone 13 max for example with 5 watt slow charges is going to draw a lot of negative uh, reviews so rather um, adding a, a high speed charger they just decided to probably not include any you know uh, just to avoid the extra cost as well so now we are at uh, 45 minutes mark and you can see here uh, 15 watt is at 45 percent and 25 watt is at 87 percent that's like 
almost double but after 80 percent all the charging all the charges are definitely going to slow down so let's see what's going to happen at 50 50 minutes mark so at 50 minutes mark um 15 watt is at 49 percent and 25 watt is at 93 percent that's uh that's a lot of uh, charge with 25 watt so but anyway coming back to the charge it not included topic right uh, i am thinking that um you know just because apple did it uh, samsung did it this year you know and that's a sad part about um, not being included anyway so now at the, the 55 minutes mark uh, 15 watt is at 54 percent and 25 watt is at 96 percent that's almost complete with 25 watt so that's a good uh, charging speed with 25 watt and um, again let's check in for another five minutes which marks one hour with this charging test and you can see now at uh, one hour mark uh, 15 watt is at 59 percent and uh, 25 watt is at 99 percent that's almost uh, going to be 100 percent in one or two minutes so i was just checking frequently to see you know whether it completed so as you can see here 25 watt is at already completed the full charge in one hour and one minutes uh, to 100 percent uh, but with the 15 watt and it's still uh, charging uh, i'm going to just uh, uh, do a fast uh, time loop and just to see every 10 minutes now with the 15 watt charger so at one hour and 10 minutes uh, 15 watt charger has charged 68 uh, percent so the next stop is at one hour and 20 minutes so let's see um, here now in a few seconds okay so now we are approaching one hour and uh, uh, 20 minutes and the 15 watt charger is has charged 78 percent just we saw yeah 78 or 79 percent but um let's see now at one hour 30 minutes mark or one hour uh, 40 or one hour 50 minutes mark because uh, i'm just going to just fast forward now uh, to the full charge so we can see right away and discuss uh how how much uh uh, fast that 25 watt has charged so now we are at 100% uh, even with the 15 watt charger but it took 1 hour and 45 minutes to fully charge a 15 minute 15 watt charger right so that's all okay now that we have seen the comparison video and the charging speed side by side uh, between that 15 watt and the 25 watt uh, charger my uh, conclusion is that it's definitely worth it to buy a 25 watt charger in case if you are in need of buying an additional charging brick right so but if you have multiple 15 watt already lying around this kind of charger um, it really I mean doesn't make sense to buy a additional charger but if you are in need of buying one go for the 25 watt directly that's what I would suggest. And the model number for this particular uh, charging brick is over here. Uh, this is the model number that I got. And uh, as I said before, this is capable of PPS. Uh, so it will work uh, well with Samsung uh, devices, right? So that will be my conclusion uh, because as you saw in the comparison video, the first 30 minutes, uh, um, mark uh, this particular charger was ch uh, charged only like 30 percent uh, but with the 25 watt it charged about almost 60 percent with this particular charging brick right which is a huge um, uh, speed pump compared to the 15 watt so i would definitely recommend buying the uh, 25 watt if you are in need of buying getting a charging brick um, that's all for this video today. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more contents like this. Thank you.